My question is more logistical. We've had troops in Iraq for coming up on three years, and we've always stayed here out of Kuwait. Now, why do we soldiers have to dig through local landfills for pieces of scrap metal and compromised ballistic glass to up armor our vehicles, and why don't we have those resources readily available to us? I missed the first part of your question, and, and could, you, could you repeat it for me? Yes, Mr. Secretary. Our soldiers have been fighting in Iraq for coming up on three years. A lot of us are getting ready to move north relatively soon. Our vehicles are not armored. We're digging pieces of rusted scrap metal and compromised ballistic glass that's already been shot up, dropped, busted, picking the best out of this scrap to put onto our vehicles to take into combat. We do not have proper armament vehicles to carry with us north. I talked, I talked to the general coming out here about the pace at which the vehicles are being armored. They have been brought from all over the world, wherever they're not needed, to a place here where they are needed. I'm told that they're being, uh, the army is, is, I think it's something like 400 a month are being done. And it, it's, it's essentially a matter of physics. It isn't a matter of money. It isn't a matter on the part of the Army of desire. It's, it's a matter of production and, and capability of doing it. As you know, uh, you go to war with the Army you have, uh, not the Army you might want or wish to have at a later time. Uh, since the Iraq conflict began, the Army uh, has been pressing ahead to produce the armor necessary at a rate that they believe, it's a greatly expanded rate from what existed previously, but a rate that they believe is, is the rate that is uh, all that can be accomplished at this moment. Uh, I can, I can assure